apple tree? Yeah, this is a really good apple tree. Yeah. We've harvested apples from this one. Hey, runny nose Bob on a walk in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Some nice gardens there. Oh yeah. Love raised bed gardens. It just, it, I don't know, I just think that it uh, gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know, that people yeah. are growing some of their own food. Oh yeah. We had raised bed square foot garden like 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. So you know where I'm headed, right? I'm headed to that orange thing because you always like to go see what you're not allowed to go see. You <laughs> 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 like to push the barriers. Well, if, no, well, it's just that if somebody like ropes off something like that, they're you obviously know, trying to... Because it's radioactive. Well, or it could be radioactive or it could be a hole in the ground. Or it could be like a lead poisoning. No, like there'd be signs if there was some kind of toxic something. I think it's... I think they don't need a sign because they have orange netting around it. Orange stencil. <laughs> no, they would have a sign if there was something toxic. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Very interesting. So, oh, hey, it's full of water. What do you know? It's, if it wasn't frozen, I could go cave diving. Yeah, it's a well. It looks like there used to be some kind of a cover on it that broke free. Anyway, if it's, um, if the water's this high in the spring, maybe I'll go dive it. I'd turn a few heads in town, wouldn't it? This actually used to be like a siding of the railroad, so that could very well have been like a water source for the old steam engines. Yeah, drinking water well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's go by the dog park. The cat park. Oh, no, that's a dog. That's a dog. Mm -hmm. people. <laughs> hey, what? The, this park is plenty warm. Yeah. Once the sun comes out, it's just... It's about minus three, but I'm warm. Snoopy dog. Huh? Snoopy dog. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Big floppy ears. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. They want to say hello too. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> Oh, 
barking at the Snoopy dog. Hi, Snoopy dog. Hi, Snoopy dog. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Snoopy. Can you snap that? Oh, I think I just did. Oops. I just snapped that, yeah, thanks. Perfect. It's going, making noise. <laughs> So there's still, you know, remains of the old railway here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was the railroad siding. Yeah. And then what we're walking into now is the sugar bush. Yeah. The big maple operation back in the 1800s. Oh, good. But a little, not quite the insulation, of course. Yeah. From the cold. Yeah. But as far just as like. Tip up just a little bit. Traction Oops. and everything. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. This is hard ground for hiking. Difficult ground. It's going to be great for cross-country skiing in another week. Yeah. Boy, it must have been really muddy. Yeah. See all the footprints and tires there? Yep. So, where are we, Joe? We're in the St. James Woods. Yep. Or you could call it the not so great pandemic. Not the great pandemic. 
<laughs> this is Mount Carlton. <laughs> Biggest hill in town. Not sure if that was for wanted posters or. No. <laughs> I think there's just some like organic art through here. Yeah. People from facing trees. There's so many trails here that you have to choose between, yeah. you know, this beauty and I know you want to go that way. This beauty. There's something more interesting things down the hill. There's someone in the woods. The people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, shoes. Two thumbs up. Okay. Yep. Forever and ever, I'm in. Just need to figure out a way to keep the toes cold or the toes warm. Yeah. Hey, morning. It is. It's a nice trail. We'll have to go on sometime. Oh, go ahead. No, I would like to go this oh, way okay. for now. But we'll do that another time. We're pretty lucky. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that are in, in cities and towns that like, don't have access to this kind of yeah. open public land. Yeah. Pretty fortunate. You, know, you probably feel pretty, uh, pretty closed in and locked down if you don't, if you can't get out and walk in the woods or something. Mm -hmm. or park or something. We're going to go off to our right, but <laughs> it's almost a skating pond. Yeah. I think there's still occasionally a few uh, ATVs through here. They're probably, oh, yeah. uh, you know, checking for the snowmobiling conditions, well, which will be these, coming soon. These ruts are from off season. Yeah. You know, from these ruts were put here last spring, and they just keep getting deeper and deeper. Yeah. And then it's very time to fill water. Can ATVers and hikers? Oh, of course they can. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of love the thought process that Oh, there's a beautiful dog. Oh, Hi! Hello, puppy! Yeah, he's got great Hello. ears. <laughs> Hi! Hi. <laughs> this place is strictly the human powered access yeah. only, you know? Yeah. But a lot of those ATV organizations are the ones who maintain these trails. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I guess it's a, a trade-off. Yeah. It's also something on his mind, like a squirrel or something. Yeah, it is ears up. I think my uh, hiking shoe drama is solved. Good. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Get you right in there. There.
What's with the ruts here? Yeah, Those I are think like, just from equipment, you know. I think? They they're pretty just, deep. No, I think they just push the... You know, they probably put this road through and they need it to pound the dirt somewhere. Blows me away is how close to our house this is. Oh, I know. And just what a beautiful, beautiful resource it is. It's funny that not a lot of people in the town even know about this place. No, I know. I've talked to our neighbors about it and they've never heard of it. Yeah. It's 10 minutes walking from our house. Yeah. The shelter up there. Yeah. There might be living well, back here. But you remember last time we were here, there was a bunch of kids playing back there? Yeah. Yeah. And horses. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're using some of the stuff from the maple uh, yeah, remains yeah. there. And here's the both all. Yeah. yeah. The decorations in the trees. Oh, yeah. See so there and there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you want to go this way? Any way you want. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This is the remains of a maple yeah. sugar operation from probably a hundred years ago. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, you can see all the buckets. Yeah. So, wow, too bad I just throw them in this ditch. It's not a ditch. Yeah. This is uh, a stream. Well, if this is a genuine little fracture in the limestone, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and go around the other side. So I'm walking along parallel to a karst feature. So I'm walking on limestone here, and um, when, when it rains and the water soaks into the ground, there are places where it meets less resistance than others, and it helps to kind of erode the rock around it and create these crevasses or fractures. So here we are coming up on one right now. The tree is falling across it. But you can see, oh my goodness, it's full of water of the frozen variety right now. 
but isn't that interesting? So, like I said, the water drains down into these fractures, and that goes quite a bit deeper. And it flows towards the river that we live on. So I think in the springtime there'll be some looking around here, exploration. It's pretty interesting. See how much water's in it? Wow, look at this. Wow. Yeah. So you think this is natural? This wasn't cut out? Of course it's natural. You sure? It's yes. cut so, so much on a square though. Yeah, I'll show you other examples from around the world. Nature makes some straight lines. But no, it's the aliens. You think it's That's the aliens? A portal to the underworld, the space aliens. It is a portal it. to the underworld, I'll give you that. Space aliens. Not like, space like aliens. <laughs> well, yeah, if it's my kind of space alien, I'll give you that. Uh oh, somebody got an ATV for Christmas. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Too bad. You don't want to get hit by an ATV here? Okay. Yeah, so here we are. Looking towards that fracture zone. So in the springtime, when we come back, all the water from this whole area is going to be draining into this fracture and disappearing under the ground, and it's going to pop out in the Mississippi River across from our condo, in that little hole in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Too bad the hole's way. too small for you to crawl into, huh? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I have a habit of living uh, across the river from. Some holes in the wall. <laughs> so far, so good. Another so, Christmas ball in the wood. Yeah. You over there, right? Yeah. That's so <laughs> nice, eh? Okay, so up there it looks like private property, so I left. Yeah, I think it is. I think we have to go this way or this way. We do. We go. This way, and we're gonna come up with these skis. So I purposefully wore this bright color kit today. Yeah. Because I knew we were going in the woods. Hey, look. I know, I'm gonna turn around. And... <laughs> That's how I know it's a good cross country skiing place. How do you know? Is that like a memorial where somebody ate it right here? Oh, maybe. <laughs> 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 it's been there a while. But if you're back here and you need a ski, you know where to find one. Yeah. If you uh, have those kind of bindings. <laughs> you know, in a sense, uh, like I prefer not to meet the ATVs on the trail, but they have made this a nice wide walkable oh, yeah. trail. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's you know, I'm always going to choose non-motorized. Oh you yeah, know. you and me both. But but it's. Uh, but I'm happy to see people outside yeah, enjoying that's the, thing. the world. Exactly. And the more people that use these trails and parks, the you know the better they'll take care of them. Yeah. And they want these trails to be open so they can use them as well as we do. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're coming awfully tolerant now that I'm Canadian. Yeah. You changed, man. You know, think about this, it's that, like I said earlier, if you live in the U.S., there's not a whole lot of, like, access to beautiful public land, public spaces like this. You know, yeah. this would be a private property or, yeah. you know, there'd be fences and signs and people with shotguns keeping you out of it. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> what a nice happy walk. Someday we should figure out how to live stream from back here. Yeah, I so think we probably can. We'll take our friends along with us in real time. I don't know if there's any way to get a signal back here. Yeah. Just want to tilt up a tiny bit here. Whoops, not down. Up. Oh yeah. Well, it probably is someone's trail marking system. Yeah. Well, I imagine that a family did it, and there's a bunch of children out here and said, "Oh, the Christmas balls!" And when it got to the end, there were presents. Yeah. Could be. Or s'mores in a campfire. More likely s'mores in a campfire. S'mores? S'mores. S'mores. No, shimores. No, there's no CH in s'mores. Everything in Philadelphia has CH. Has CH. <laughs> so is that another one of those words that has an American and a yeah. Canadian? Well, it's a Philadelphian. Okay. Like water. 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 Sorry, all this ice will melt and become water. Ice water. It's water. <laughs> and then you can buy a water ice mm -hmm. at the water ice stand. And here we are again, in the event you find yourself back here on a oh, yeah. skiing adventure and the other skis on the tree weren't your size. <laughs> oh, these, have these ones have more modern bindings. Yeah. So... I really think the trails have been marked with skis and Christmas balls. Mm -hmm. I really think, you know, there's a club or something, isn't there? The, the, isn't there a cross-country skiing club? Because this whole trail is marked with Christmas balls. Yeah. Ornaments. There's your skis. Okay. Yeah. There's another one up there, a red one. Oh, up yeah. on the right. Okay. Follow the Christmas balls. Huh? I think you follow the Christmas balls. Yeah. They're still. So here's my theory. Yeah. This is the main cross country skiing trail. Yeah. And they've marked it with the balls. And then. Yeah, because there really is one just like the yeah. same way we blaze trees, yeah, right? Exactly. There's definitely then, one within sight of the next. There's another trail that's marked with little, little ninja bird houses. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't like the Christmas trail. Yeah. Here's another one. Oh, that's a cool one. See, on the left. No, see there's another something on the left there. Yeah. Right here. A little birdhouse. I don't I think it's a bell. Is it? Try it. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This, is, this is another one. Oh look, there you go. There's the oh, other yeah. one. So you turn here, there's the trail. See this? They have they have they have uh, So this is the pyramid trail, I guess. Well, this one's a little different. I don't think it's just ornaments. Yeah. It's almost like it's ornaments. 
I mean, we still have the traditional like blazes on the tree yeah, too. Yeah, and then there's S's and L's. Yeah. Might be, we'll have to look this up. Oh, look, there's another pair of skis. Yeah, they're on the tree shelf, it's good. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, here's another blaze. There it is. This is definitely a mark. I like this one a lot. Canadian. Oh, that's an old one. It's vintage. Continental skis. I remember those. That's an old one. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, that's a good cool thing to discover. Yeah. Now you just need to move. Yeah. Well, we've had a merciful winter so far. Well, it's going to snow tonight. Yeah. And it's going to snow for the next few days, so it might get enough to... Yeah, we might be snowshoeing or skiing back here this week. I'll be snowshoeing. Mm -hmm. We saw some really weird mushrooms back here last time too. Oh yeah, they were huge. Yeah. I thought I see a bucket on a tree. Oh. Uh, no. I don't know what it is, but there's something on that tree. Way in there. Oh, okay. I thought it was an old bucket that kind of grew up higher because the tree grew. I see some more signs and ornaments up here. I think the red blaze here is the tree ski trail. Yeah. Is there paper in there? Oh, look. I don't think so. Just some, just some pens. Oh, I guess so. You can just sign that post. Yeah. The wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah. And look, that's another one over there. Yeah. Another one of the pyramid ones. Well, should we go this way? Sure. There's another pair of skis. I had no idea. Yeah. So this will be messy in the oh, springtime. Yeah. Might, might. This is probably why we haven't walked this little piece here. Yeah, I think that the place isn't so solid either. The, the well, I'm not going to walk on the ice. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of snow to fill this in. More skis. Little snowflakes on them. Yeah. Little coronas. Huh. <laughs> Corona skis. Yeah, we've walked by this trail, but not gone on it because it was all it's muddy. It's always been full of water and mud. But it's hard enough now. I think this actually will take us back to the uh, uh, the pile of maple syrup making materials. Yeah.
Well, I'm so glad we could walk back here. I really thought it was going to be too slippery. Yeah, this is probably only walkable in the winter. Yeah. in the middle of all this karst again. Like there, through the woods. Look over there. Some nice depressions, eh? Some nice rocks over here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. Another depression. I know, it's really it's really pretty landscape, isn't it? You know, one of the reasons it's probably been left alone so long is that it's because of all this rock and everything, you couldn't turn it into a, well, a farmer's field or anything. It's a bit tough to develop, and uh, I think I think the geology um, is not necessarily conducive to building. Like, this might be a real like right. water course in the spring. Yeah. Well, I think it's also uh, protected. I think that there's some kind of a truss. I hope so, because this is a really unique woodland here, just a yeah. kilometer from our house. I think it's there's something of St. James Woods Trust or something like that. Yeah. I think this is, I think it's the church across the river from us. Yeah. It's St. James, and their cemetery or something is at the very end of this. Yeah. I don't see someone's done a bit of trail maintenance recently. Yeah. Well, it's only for... I'm, I'm guessing that it was the... Uh, ATVers. The skiers. The yeah. ski club came through here and marked the trails and they hiked in every winter. Yeah. There's a big log hill. Yeah. So this is actually a bit of a loop we've just done. Yeah. And uh let's go and walk along I was gonna go back and uh, along the that Straight trail? The what? The straight trail? Yeah, the one that brings us to the apple tree? Yeah, up yeah. here and we turn left. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think there's two trails that have to be left. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we rode here on our bicycles? Yeah. We ate some apples right here. Yeah, there's several apple trees on the edge of this little path. We go so, left. Did you me climbing through here? Yeah. You should send it to Shola. Yeah. Yeah.
But you like your shoes? Your new shoes? Okay, speed goat killer. Okay. I mean, you have to wear a wool sock or something to keep your feet warm. Yeah. But man, am I getting... Because this is like a knee breaker trail yeah. here, the way your foot rotates and... No, I don't have yeah. any trouble. I'm having my, I'm getting great grip on these. Good. Up and downhill. Really. Okay, that's you know, your new I, shoe brand then. Oh, I really like them. Now I know why I like all these. Me too. I could wear them. So you're giving a thumbs up to Hoka. Thumbs up. Hoka shoes. That's your Christmas tell. present from, yeah. from Jill. <laughs> I can tell because of the Christmas from the design of the of the soles or the cushioning. Yeah. It's like I'm hardly feeling any of it in my knees. If you keep talking about this, people are gonna think it's a commercial. I know. It's not I only wish. No, it's just my first time wearing them. <laughs> I've had I've had shoe issues all, all for like the last six months. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just wish it was a commercial because that would mean that someone sent us some free shoes. Oh yeah, some three hundred and eighty dollar <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well you know what they say, it's the most important thing. Yeah. Ooh, nice yeah. hole over there. Yeah, it's a Yeah, they, although people have been stepping over it right here. Should I just have a little peek? Special, just a just a depression. Looks like another swale. Yeah. It's swell. The swell swale. <laughs> Offense. Huh? Offense. Okay. And you know, that's the kind of fences that... Those are, you know, it's pretty common. It's easy to string out. Pretty, what do you call yeah. pig fences? I'm quite warm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's minus three, but I'm sweating. Oh, it looks like we're coming up to a skating rink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. You might find out if my shoes are waterproof. Well, I think you can walk around the edge. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, somebody was putting branches down. There, honey. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's quite frozen enough. Oh yeah, here this way, no problem. I just wouldn't walk on the ice yet. Oh, it's plenty hard, actually. Yeah, I think that was broken from yesterday, though. It's it's plenty solid. Although this would be messy, messy after the thaw. Okay. So there's one downside with filming one long take on a walk. Yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to manage the file. Well, stop it every once in a while. Yeah, well, we're already 46 minutes into it, so we'll just test it. Look 
half. I'm curious. Okay. Are you doing 4K? Yeah. Oh my god, it's going to be huge. Yep. No, this is just for 4K. Other than the current one. Boy, this is so pretty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, every, uh, four gigs, I think. Two gigs or four gigs, yeah. It might do this, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Yeah, back that way for the red trail. You want to go this way? I do. This is the one that will dump us out by the Karenbeck uh, skating rink. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely uh, some in a intentional trail minding. Mm -hmm. There's blue balls, yeah, and, and there's silver ones. And there's red. And there's, yeah. There's the off to the left. Yeah. I think that one goes back to the trailhead where the water well is. You remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah? And then this one goes towards Karen Beck. I like this one because we get the ridge line through here. Oh yeah, there's a green one. Yeah, somebody's come through here and uh, reblazed the trails, which is nice. Oh, here's a nice one coming up. Look at this. Oh, I walked right by the skis. Okay. It's snow skis for kids. Yeah. That's great. I was just mesmerized by this. Yeah, there's these little birdhouses all through this trail. There's probably a dozen of them. shouldn't grow seeds. Yeah. That's bad. Oh 
yeah. This would be a great place actually to do some, you know, bushcraft skills and, yeah. you know, because it's so close to town. Yeah. Oh, look at this. In case you've lost shoes on this trail <laughs> and the skis won't uh, do it for you. If you've got really little feet, there's oh, a set of boys' shoes and a set of girls' shoes so you can pick up. Yeah. Rooty? <laughs> oh, I love this. Look at this. This these that roots. Silver birch or yeah. Wow, gorgeous one. The texture of the roots is just amazing. It is. It's a beautiful tree. It's like an elephant's trunk. Yeah, it's a really old tree. Okay. So your knee's not bothering you at all, eh? Um, I can feel it. My, I can feel mine. Another set of skis. Oh, this is the the mate. This is the mate to uh, the other pair of Canadians that we saw. He says Innsbruck, Innsbruck, Austria. This would be great for skiing and snowshoeing. I think in this springtime we really have to uh, think about tapping one maple tree here. Where? Like right here. Look. 
Oh no, that's a branch. No, honey, that's a pine tree. <laughs> so, honey, yeah, like this is for your Canadian citizenship test. I know. What tree does maple syrup come from? Uh, Not a pine tree. A maple tree. Good. <laughs> Oh, my knee's sore. Because we're walking into the sun, I've just rotated the camera. You come over here. I'm not sure whether we're getting a storm. Oh, sure yeah, looks look like it. it. Holy crap. Like, well, supposed to move in this afternoon. Well, I was going to say, I yeah. think yeah. I think yeah. it's moving in. I think it's time to head home. I think, uh, yeah. Very black on the horizon with the sun just over top of the black but I don't think it's going to last for long. That's okay, a storm means snowshoeing and skiing yeah. this week. So. Well, did you know the wind just picked up too? Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, this is just a beautiful walk. Skate around on your pond there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice little one. Nice little rink, yeah. Hi there. Can we get some? <laughs> Oh look, there's someone cycling through the woods. What? There's someone biking through the woods up there. Good. That's yeah. great. It's great for fat bike. Yeah, you really need fat bike now. Or you need studded tires, but that costs as much as a bike. <laughs> Yeah, the bike went up this trail here. Okay, here's the world's smallest birdhouse. <laughs> here's the world's smallest birdhouse. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone living in it. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Yeah, the mountain biker went up this trail here. Yeah, one. There, just, just one. one. one yeah, see, there's tire tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Might amaze you didn't wipe out on that ice. Somebody may have gotten a mountain bike for Christmas. Yeah. So 
So trail markers are really awesome. But is this? Oh, it is a trail marker. So I guess that's a trail marker too. I thought it was like a full poop bag, which I do sometimes have to pick up on the trail. So yeah. public service announcement. There's no poop fairy. Hey, look. Look at the igloo. Or not igloo. Look at this. It's a shelter. It's kind of fun. Someone's been playing. That's cool. Uh, pardon me. I shouldn't burp on my tape. <laughs> You hot? No. Right. I'm a little warm. I'm, sweat, I'm wet. I'm sweating underneath. Our, we're losing our sun, eh? Yeah. I think yeah. I'm, we're going to get hit with some snow. Yeah. We're almost out of batteries. Yeah. Yeah. We might run out before we get to the skating rink. That's too bad. I'll okay. have to share the skating rink on another video. Yeah. Ooh, this is a nice loop. Imagine you just park up here, get your skis out, and just come right down here and go up to the trail. I'm just going to ski from the house. Yeah, but I mean, some people just drive up. Yeah. They park up here by the dog park. Oh, I'm just going to ski up the uh, Trans Canada Trail mm -hmm. and then uh, cut off at the industrial park into the woods. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're like a kilometer from the house. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can you can park you can ski right over to um, the road where the Kavanaugh plan is and just go in at that end. Yeah, right by the cemetery. Or you can just ski right up here. Or I could ski right here. Yeah. yeah. 